Hey, far away. Andrew, how did you find the first day? Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. I think if I do it for too long, I won't keep this thick, luscious hair that I've currently got. <laughs> uh, that might get challenged, but it was good fun. It was a tough week. How did you sort of handle the, the uh, build-up and, and taking the reins? Yeah, it has been a tough week, an emotional week for the club. Um, Dim has been such an influence on so many people at the club's lives. And uh, it was a challenging few days. No one saw it coming. But I think once we sort of got back to work Wednesday, our, our leaders of our club were amazing. Um, and we understand that the club has a purpose and we've got to keep moving forward. So we did that. We prepared for the game. And, um, yeah, the players were amazing. Is it something you addressed pre-match or just straight on, this is what we've got before our leg? Yeah, you know, we spoke about it pre-match. We spoke about honouring Dimo and what he's given the club for a long period of time. The players players love him, so there's, there's a reason why we did that and um, he's given so much to our club. I guess, you know, early in the last quarter it looked like you were almost a chance to win, so was that, I guess, reflective of the, the tribute, I guess, you wanted to pay to Dimmer and all that, wasn't it? I thought the guys fought really well tonight. Like, we didn't play our best game of footy, but um, the fight they showed was, was huge. I think they never gave up. We had, you know, we obviously had challenge getting the ball out of our back half in that last quarter, but even then, I think that the never give up attitude they showed was was um, was really evident tonight. Yeah, there was, a, I think, a 17 minute mark of the first quarter. There was a round of applause from the, from the, chill, uh, the, the, the Richmond fans at, yeah. at, on a dinner in the 2017 Premiership. Uh, is that what it was? I heard, the, I heard the cheer, but I wasn't sure. Our box, we stood up and clapped as well. Yeah. We joined in. <laughs> he posted a photo at about 11 a.m. with a beer in there. How many do you reckon he went through? <laughs> no one did. I won and then went to sleep. <laughs> uh, but I saw that photo. It's great. I'm, I hope you enjoyed watching the game. Tim Taranto was probably if not the best game of his career, certainly for the club. Um, How did you see his performance? He really stood up, didn't he? Not a bad player, Tim, is he? Um, look, he's been unbelievably consistent for us this year. Um, an ultra competitor. Uh, every week he gives his all and, and we love him for it. And another great game from him tonight. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're alluding to that he has caught, caught some criticism in quarters. How, how has he been sort of dealing with that? And um, yeah, just the insight to how he's... Uh, I think, like, like I mentioned, Tim's an ultra competitor. Um, he understands that we, what we value about him in, internally. Um, we've given him a lot of support, but he's just shown up every week and, and keeps performing. So he's letting his uh, performances do the talking at the moment. Marlon Pickett moved from forward line into the, the middle. Yep. And how did you see that move? Uh, yeah, so we sort of um, set Marlon up for a bit of a job on Rosie. It was, it was um, just part of our mindset this week. Yeah, great players. It could have been Butters as well. But I thought Marlon gave us something through the middle of the ground. Um, we knew he could. He's, um, he's a good player sort of wherever we play him. But I thought that was a bit of a win tonight. You're a fair way out of the top eight now. What are you hoping to get out of the back half of the season? I think the main aim for us is just to remain really connected. We're on the same page. Um, we're on this journey for the next 12 weeks together. So we're just going to focus on that, playing for the team, um, wins, losses, it's, it's not what we're thinking about at the moment. So we'll just keep focusing on that. And um, Toby, second, second game up, was like one of your best players as well. How did you sort of see his? Yeah, Toby was really, he got a lot of the ball, Toby, tonight, didn't he? He was really competitive. Um, we love Toby, what he's given us for a long period of time. We know how much of a competitor he is. And uh, he, the more Toby plays, the better he gets as well. So we expect he'll keep improving. Was there anything logistically or anything that surprised you just being in the role you didn't see? Uh, it's a good question, to be honest. I, it, it's amazing how, as an assistant coach, how much you don't see as a senior coach. And I was really lucky to have Blair and Tim this week. Um, I, uh, I was barely able to go to the toilet without asking their permission at times this week. But <laughs> they, they've been amazing for me, the support, um, and, the, and the way they've helped me throughout the week. I don't know, this is probably more a question for Blair, but... You've got the, the list spot uh, open. Did you, would you like to see the club use it? Do you think you will? Yeah, I've had a bit too much on this week. I haven't been involved in any chats with it yet. I'm sure over the next couple of weeks uh, um, we will talk about it, and I, I probably can't answer it for you right now. Sorry. So you said midweek you weren't thinking about it, and now that you've had a, a taste of having the reins on game day, is it the appetite to throw your hat into the ring for the role? I think like, I love today. I love I love the week. I love the opportunity I've been given, and I think I'm just going to put my head down and just do what I have to do for the club right now, which is week to week prepare our players to play a game of footy. So that's along with our um, assistant coaching group. So that'll be my focus. Still a fairly lengthy injury list. Do you have any chance getting anyone back soon? a good question. Tim? Mm. <laughs> not sure. Not, not off the top of my head, sorry. Young Morris. 
Oh, Morris, Morris Rowley might play some footy next week, which is great. Any injuries today? No, all clear. Thanks, guys. Thanks.